of all games to make a quickie video on, this one might be one of the best applicants. There's not much to say about this game, so let me try and fill in at least three minutes of time here. Mickey's Safari and Letterland is part of a series of Mickey games for the NES, published by High Tech Expressions, which, in my opinion, is way worse than LJN ever was. Then, let's add Beam Software to the mix, the same shithole that gave us George Foreman's KO Fuckfest and everyone's favorite Back to the Futures Part 2 and 3. But let's break it down first before judging its cover. The entire game is based on two objectives. Objective number one, get to the box at the end of the stage, just like every other 2D platformer on the NES. And objective number two, collect the three letters scattered within the stage, which are either right in front of you, or hidden away in some random ass part of the stage. Unless of course you don't feel like doing that, then you can just do step one and the game continues. But Adam, that sounds way too easy. There has to be some other objective or obstacle to overcome. Nope, no other objectives, no other obstacles. In fact, you can't even lose in this game at all. There's no hit points, no pits, no spikes, no game overs, no continues, no timers, no bosses, no passwords, no cancerous tumors, and no reruns of Young Sheldon. Nothing kills you. For real, nothing. The enemies pose no threat and really are just there to irritate you. The only degree of difficulty is at the beginning, where you select the difficulty. But even that only determines how many levels you play, not how difficult the game is. The only good thing I pulled from this game are the kinky Disney things we all know and love. Like the sexy legs Mickey gets all fired up over. And the set of balls in the Caribbean level. Even Mickey is wondering what the fuck is wrong with Disney. So, sum it up. The platforming is... okay at best. Soundtrack... adequate to an extent. Level design... passable in a general way. In other words, this game is the definition of mediocrity. I understand it's a kid's game, and everything I complained about is essentially irrelevant. But I'm not a kid, and this game sucks. Gucci gang, 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 Gucci gang.